Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome in. Today we're going to be talking about the new episode of The Real Housewives of New York. That's episode 8 of season 14, the new season. The opening scene is Sai and Uba. They're at this store because they're going to be going to their cast trip, which is going to be to Anguilla. Nothing too crazy, but it's a very nice place. Anyway, they are shopping for clothes for the trip, looking at stuff, trying it on. Uba was sick recently, which is why we didn't see her last week, so Sai is filling her in on what has happened. She once again talks bad about Jenna for giving them gifts, which Jenna has either collaborated or been a part of, and she says she feels like Jenna wants them to promote those products. Now, mind you, Jenna has never asked them to do so, but I think it's whack to see someone like be giving gifts to an entire group And for you to be there talking crap about it, and I don't want to be rude, but I really don't think Jenna Lyons needs Sai to be promoting her stuff. Sai also fills Uba in on Aaron, especially that Aaron was mad that Sai left the party without saying goodbye. And I do respect Uba for telling Sai to her face that she was wrong to do that. Then she tells her about Bryn and Aaron and that drama and how Aaron stormed out. So this trip will be the first time that they see each other since that happened. The next scene we get was Jenna walking around the city with her brother. Her brother has a wife, a daughter. They're grown, but it's still nice to see siblings hang out. And I love the fact that they were walking around the city. Like it actually made it feel like they're at New York. She talks to him about some of the things that she's doing and she's planning on doing this trip that she's going on. And I I felt so bad when she started to say that she feels a little bit insecure to do stuff like being on a bathing suit because of the disorder that she has. That was sad. So when this was filmed, it was Christmas season. So they show quick pictures of each of the women on actual Christmas day with their families. And then we transition to days after Christmas. Bryn is in L.A., She has a brother who she's spending time with and they're like hiking and they're talking about life and they have a really real talk about that. Bryn is starting to realize that she's almost 40, like she has no husband, no kids and of course their childhood has had a lot to do with issues that they face in their personal relationship so they're discussing that and she cries. I think she should be in therapy if she isn't already. I really do um, hope that she gets to talk about that more therapy we then move on to a scene where Aaron goes to visit Jenna because Jenna had to get dental surgery for like the 13th time like she's done it a lot so she wasn't feeling too well Aaron was so nice she made soup for her so she goes they're catching up and they talk about this trip Aaron isn't too excited about going because the Bryn thing really bothered her and like those jokes about flirting divorce sister wives like it's just not funny But there's some drama. So in the group chat, Jenna, she let the women know that she is going to be going two days earlier to the trip because she likes to tan because of that skin condition that she has. And it kind of, the tan kind of helps cover it up a little bit. So she feels a little bit better. But the judgy women, Cy, Chessel, and Brynn are taking it out of proportion and making it into a big deal. And it was so sad seeing them like laugh at her for doing that without knowing why she's doing it but Jenna also admits to Aaron that a bonus to go by herself a few days earlier is that she didn't want to fly coach and I don't blame her we've seen how crazy people are in these airplanes I would fly first class if I could as well so we get going seeing all the women packing as Jessel is packing she's with her husband and they're talking and he tells her that he's going to be going to Vietnam for three days because he needs time to himself He was very defensive when Jessel was asking him why is he going, and it's weird. You can be anywhere by yourself in the world, but to go on a 20-hour flight to Vietnam? Very sus. Then they all head to the airport and they arrive. They arrive to the villa. It was very nice. They all get their rooms. They purposely gave Jenna the ugliest room because they're still mad at her for what she did, and Uba and Jessel have to share a room. So the whole group is there hanging out, except Jenna, who hasn't made it yet. And this is where Aaron loses me. 
She started to tell everybody what she did. I went and I made soup for her. Like, don't brag about it. If you're going to do it, do it. You know, don't be throwing it in people's faces. And then she goes on to say, she told me the truth is that she's not flying with us because she doesn't like to fly coach. What is wrong with you, Erin? Not only are you snitching something that Jenna told you, Jenna told you about her skin thing also. They are all saying that Jenna is corny, that's stupid. It's really not even that serious. Then they head over to lunch. At least I made sure that there was a lot of food. They keep talking about Jenna. I guess they have nothing else to talk about. And Uba makes a funny, <laughs> shady comment. She says, only at size food you get good food. It's 6.15 and they're still waiting for Jenna to get there. And they say like, where is she? And then Uba says, Jenna can suck my D. That's very vulgar. And then out of nowhere, Bryn brings up the gifts that Jenna has been giving them. And she says, stop giving me these gifts if you want me to promote them. Bryn, darling, why would Jenna want you to promote her things? We don't even know if you have a home. What do you do for a living? Like, calm down. So they all chime in, total mean girl style, and Jenna walks right on as they're doing so. And the fakery stars with like, hey, how are you? And then as she sits down, Sai says, we're really annoyed at you that you didn't come with us. And we know why you didn't, because you didn't want to fly coach. And Jenna says, who said that? And Sai is quick to say, Aaron. Which, I mean, it was funny how she kind of threw her under the bus quickly. But Sai comes across as a really nasty hater. Like, she just nags all the time. But Jenna says, no, that that's not why I came by myself. And then she looks at Aaron and says, you know, I told you why. And Jenna, once again, has to reveal a very private thing about herself to the group. I have a skin disorder with scars and tanning helps cover it up. So I like to come and tan. So once that we are all together in the group, I'm able to show more skin and feel comfortable. And wow. Instead of understanding, Bryn was being such a little bee. I'm sorry, but she was. She said, that's a cop-out. How insensitive is that for um, Jenna to say that? We were When Bryn was talking about her childhood story, nobody was saying that that was a cop-out. What the hell? Bryn says, your skin is beautiful, so like, don't lie. And Jenna says, have you even seen pictures of me on the red carpet? I never show skin. And Bryn says... No, actually, I have never seen pictures of you on the red carpet. And everybody was laughing. Just very mean. And Brynn has definitely seen pictures of Jenna lying on the red carpet if they're doing the show together. And Jenna Lyons has worked with Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, Beyonce, whatever. Then they go to unpack. Brynn sends a guy to help Erin so she can stop being mad at her. Then they get ready for dinner. They're all getting dressed up. Jenna walks into Jessel's room to go talk to her. And then once she sees Jessel's room, she realizes that the room she got was a form of punishment. She sits down and talks to Jessel and says that it took her a little aback to see Bryn and being so mean to her. And then on the other room, Sai and Bryn are together and they're talking about Je um, Jenna and that she doesn't share things and this and that. But Jenna is telling Jessel that she is not at a level in her life where she's going to be making herself small to get along with people. So either they're going to get along or they're not. And that was the end of the episode. And it looks like by the preview, they're still going to be dragging this thing along. These girls, something about them that's so annoying is that they would literally be a dead horse. Like, get over it. And I don't even know this Jenna chick. Like, I know her from watching the, the season as everybody else has. I didn't even, to be honest, maybe it's because I'm young. I'm, I am only 20. I have never even heard of her. But just seeing how people were treating her, I just didn't like it. So that's why I'm saying what I'm saying. But you guys, let me know. Did you guys watch the episode? And what were your thoughts about what happened? Let me know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a great one. Bye.